And that's what the Lucas County tornado siren sounded like last night, well after the Point Place tornado. And tonight, the 13 Action News I team getting answers, answering the question as to why. We've also found a major lag in the system, which caused people valuable minutes in a storm like this. I team reporter Sean Hegarty live with the story, Sean. Yeah, we actually encountered two issues putting the story together today. One, why the sirens did not go off at one point last night. And when they did go off for a secondary storm, while well, it took a while for people to actually get that notice. As the sun came up in Point Place Friday morning, the light revealed the massive cleanup operation. So many people seeing the storm roll in. It was very scary because we could see the funnel and we could see the clouds rotating and it was coming zigzag against us. What they did not hear were tornado sirens. That's because the National Weather Service did not issue a tornado warning as the Point Place storm approached. 25 minutes after that storm, they did hear sirens. There was no point that it was already done. Everything was done. Everybody's outside making sure everybody's okay and siren is off while we're all outside already. Turns out there was a point because the storm reformed and powered through Lucas County again. Once we did receive notification from National Weather Service that there was a tornado warning, it was for the Harborview, Oregon, uh, Jerusalem Township area. And at that point, uh, the tornado sirens were sounded. Lucas County activates all sirens countywide once they get an official tornado warning from the National Weather Service. So from Berkey to Oregon, you'll hear a siren if there's a warning anywhere in the county. It's not city by city or region by region. That's not what we do in Lucas County. Um, there is some communities outside of Lucas County, outside of Ohio, that um, they will set off sirens based on the geographic polygon that National Weather Service uses. Uh, in Lucas County, our procedure is to set all sirens or no sirens off. But we found a problem with the Lucas County system. Here's the first notice of the tornado warning on 13 Action News Thursday night at 625 p.m. Uh, let's see here. All right, there it is now for Lucas County. We now have a tornado warning as well. 625 13 Action News announces the warning on TV. According to Lucas County EMA officials, at 627, the Lucas County vendor starts text alert notifications. But then it took until about 633 or 634 that Lucas County EMA was able to confirm the tornado warning with National Weather Service forecasters. Only then, at 635, could Lucas County EMA activate the siren system. It takes a bit for that to begin, then the sirens go on for about three minutes. This is video of those sirens sounding outside 13 ABC at Doran Richards at 642. Remember, the warning was announced on TV at 625. And then those text alerts take a while to get to people's phones and can come at a variety of different times. For our example, our newsroom, one of my colleagues got the text at 628, another at 633. On my phone, I got it at 645.